move. Can you folks out on the sidewalk hear me? Frank Gorman, can you hear me? No. Okay. Uh, they can hear down. you. What? You step down, then I'll trench it up. Okay. Go ahead. Can everybody on the sidewalk? Hey, Rob Davis, can you hear me? Okay. Real quick, I want to start with asking, I was asked to say a couple words. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a moment of silence to honor two policemen, Riverside Police Officer Kane and San Bernardino County Officer McKay, both killed doing what our cops and sheriffs and CHP do every day to protect us. You bow your heads and take a moment in their memory. May their souls rest in peace. How many of you heard comments about why do this on a Friday when City Hall is closed? Anybody heard that? On Facebook. On Facebook. We, we, we're doing this on Friday for a simple reason. They are closed. They appear to be closed to our safety concerns. We have a three-person council majority, led by Mayor Yusuf, closed to the need for three and a half years begging and what's happened? 16-year-old Eric Sargent stabbed, murdered during the day, muggings. I don't need to go through it. It's gone the wrong way. It's gone too far. It's time for change. You people are going to change it. And to change it, we're going to have to get really ribbed up. Because you have a council and a supervisor that wants to detune Hemet, outsource its fire, outsource its police, at a time when we're in a war with criminals. Would the Joint Chiefs of Staff announce they're going to do away with the Army right now, where we have men and women in Afghanistan? This is lunacy. Lunacy at its best. I think the fix is in. I've said it on record. Why is the fix in? Three council members, funded by three or four people, including the supervisor, Stone, their right to do it, prearranged, and there's evidence to show it, that they're going to come in and get rid of fire and police. The most recent was a video of Supervisor Stone last Saturday when he spoke in Sun City. To this day, there has never been an agenda item or discussion by the City Council and the people of Hemet about going out for a proposal to replace their police department. Listen real closely to Supervisor Stone. Todd? looking to the county as a possible service provider. There is an RFP, a request for a proposal that's going to be on the 26th of their agenda. They're looking at replacing, potentially, their fire department that does not have any paramedics on their engines with CAL FIRE, the county fire department. We contract with the state, but it's our county fire department where we have paramedics on all of our fire engines. So uh, they have a proposal that if they choose to accept it, will save them about three quarters of a million dollars a year in paramedics on all their engines if they contract with the county, not have any pension liability, not have any deep pocket liability. And then I'm told they're going to be looking at uh, an RFP for police services. And so uh, I know the county sheriff will be probably putting in a uh, request for a proposal on that. And, uh, and have a PD, we'll be putting one in as well. And the council will have some very tough choices. It's very contentious issues, but the bottom line is we have a public safety problem in the Hammond Sanders and the Valley that has to be cured. Folks, the fix is in. The supervisors are announcing what hasn't even been discussed in council. The fix is in. Meanwhile, the county's in worse shape than we are. The county's got huge cuts coming. They're understaffed in Val Vista. They're doing the same thing. So again, listen for a quick moment in Supervisor Stone's comments this past Saturday about the condition of the county's budget for safety. But we as a county are responsible for providing public safety, a sheriff in each of the courtrooms to make sure that the judge is protected and the witnesses are protected. And the state would reimburse us for those services. Well, Jerry Brown just put an order through that we will no longer be reimbursed for all the sheriffs in all the courtrooms in Riverside County. That is a county expense. That is a multi-million dollar hit. 
that we honestly cannot afford. So that is going to add to right now what is about a $30 million deficit as we're coming into the year 2013-2014, which is going to require some draconian changes within the county system again. Uh, we are going through a series of layoffs right now. Folks, do you want to get rid of your police and fire? No! Are we going to put a stop to it? Yes! How many of you are going to attend Tuesday night's meeting and let yourselves be heard? Here! Here! Enough is enough is enough. At the library. Businesses, families are going to leave this valley. Enough is enough. Write letters. Be at the library on Tuesday night. Let's go line the sidewalk. Bring ten more people. It's only going to, it's only going to stop if enough residents put enough political pressure on them. Otherwise, the fix is in. Thank you. Tom? Woo! Please go to the sidewalk. We want to maximize car seeing everybody. If you want to cross the street, follow the law. We do not want to break the law. And we can cover both sides of the street. Thank you. Thank you for what everyone's doing.